Hey everybody, we're talking firmware updates from DJI today. We have two new updates, one for the Mavic Pro and one for the Phantom 3 SE. So first off, we're going to talk about the Mavic Pro. So they released two days ago on uh, November 23rd, they released version 1.04.01. So this release is intended to work with DJI Go 4.1.18 and higher. There's, first off, there is one thing to, to keep in mind. So they have a note that they stick clear at the bottom of the release notes. I'm going to stick it right here for you to read it, and I'm going to read it. Please note the firmware update may reset various main controller settings, such as the RTH altitude and maximum flight distance to factory defaults. Before the update, take note of your preferred DJI GO 4 settings and readjust them after the update to suit your preferences. So I really want to make sure that you guys are aware of that so that you don't lose your settings. So go through your settings before you do the firmware upgrade. Make sure that uh, you write down what your settings are or take note of what they are so that you don't lose them and then go and reapply them after you do the firmware update on your Mavic Pro. All right, so what's new? So they have updated the Mavic Pro so that it now supports the same panorama photography settings that the Spark uh, had been implemented recently. So that is the 360 sphere. That's the 180 uh, uh, and then a horizontal and a vertical panorama as well. So you got, uh, I think there's four different options there. Uh, the sphere one is the one that is the, the newest uh, in the Spark. And uh, then of course the 180 uh, is uh, pretty cool as well. You can do your stitching within the DJI Go 4 app. A lot of people have had some mixed results with that and like to use other uh, tools outside of the uh, DJI Go tools to do stitches. Uh, tools on Microsoft platform is the uh, ICE, which is uh, Microsoft's uh, image composition editor or something along those lines, uh, which works, works pretty well. I see a lot of people on Windows using that. They say that they've optimized GeoZone management you know, who who knows what that is, but uh, uh, hopefully they've made it better and easier for people to use. They say they've optimized intelligent flight battery firmware updating, and they've improved flight performance when using propeller guards. They also say that the this firmware is also an update for the DJI goggles, so they fixed an occasional issue where the SD card could format abnormally after linking. That doesn't sound like a good one. Fixed an occasional issue where the linking status LED turned off after powering on. So I think really the big one here is that they say that they've added the panorama modes. I think that's really the big feature. I honestly think if you're not looking for that feature, you may want to kind of wait and see how this one plays out. One of the things that I've uh, read in the, the DJI forums is that with this new update, you are, they don't give you the option to be able to downgrade back to an older firmware. So that's something to watch out for. You, if you're a little on the fence as to whether you really want to go with this firmware update and you don't need the panorama uh, features, you may want to kind of hold out on this. Now, one of the things that I've seen uh, with DJI Go 4.1.18, if you haven't already updated to that, one of the things to be careful is for the GeoZone management, for the NFCs and stuff, on small devices like phones and such, the screen uh, where you accept uh, the, the liability waiver is kind of messed up on some phones. Uh, so that's something to be aware of as well. So I would just caution, unless you're really looking for the features that are, that are here for your Mavic Pro, uh, you may want to take a kind of a cautious approach to moving forward with, the, with this new update. Now, they, now, remember, if you do choose to move forward with it, make sure that you write down your settings that you've changed in DJI Go for especially the return to home settings, maximum flight distance, and just double check everything else there. Make sure you know what your settings are so that after you apply the update, you can go back and apply them again. Uh, they say that you have to restart the aircraft and the remote controller after the upgrade is complete. Uh, and of course they tell you, as they do in every firmware update, if the firmware upgrade fails, we'll restart everything. Restart the aircraft, the remote controller, your controlling device, DJI Go 4, or if you're connecting via USB cable to your computer, restart DJI System 2 as well, and then retry. They give the, that same advice to every single firmware update. Alright, so that is the Mavic Pro. I would take a cautious approach to it. 
uh, unless you're really looking for these particular features. Uh, maybe look in the forums to see what problems people are having. I've seen some problems uh, uh, there. I don't know that they're widespread, but just make sure that you inform yourself uh, and, and you kind of know what you're kind of getting into, what other people are seeing with this update before you decide to just jump in full force. The other update that DJI just released yesterday on Thanksgiving here in the US was for the Phantom 3 SE. They released firmware version 1.5.40. And now that goes with the DJI Go app version 3.1.22. So uh, this one, again, is kind of a maintenance issue. Uh, they fixed an issue where the screen could blur while scrolling through videos in the editor. Fixed an issue where the progress bar displayed incorrectly during firmware updating. Added working frequency and channel settings for the remote controller. And they say they improved the firmware updating stability. So that's not a huge groundbreaking one there, but you wouldn't expect that on the Phantom 3 with the Phantom 4 out. That's where they're putting out new features. So this just seems like kind of a maintenance to address some, some uh, what uh, from an outsider's perspective look like kind of fairly simple type of problems. Uh, of course, don't restart while you're doing your update, they say. Uh, after the update's complete, restart the aircraft and the remote controller. And of course, if the firmware upgrade fails, restart the aircraft remote controller and DJ Go and retry. So those are the two updates for the uh, Mavic Pro and the Phantom 3 SE. Nothing huge and groundbreaking. The Mavic Pro does give the uh, uh, panorama modes, which is really, I think, the big feature there. So unless you're looking for those, take a cautious approach to whether you're, you choose to upgrade and I think you will be happy if you are informed to see what other issues people are having. A lot of people are having success, but there are some issues out there. So anyways, I uh, hope you have a great day. Hope you found this useful. If you find this useful and my other videos useful, I would love to have you subscribe to the video or to our channel. And uh, love to hear what you have to say. Have you upgraded your Mavic? Uh, leave us a comment. Does it work? Have you had problems? What kind of problems are you seeing? If you're seeing any problems or are you just, or how are you liking the uh, new panorama features? Uh, and how's that working for you? So anyways, love to hear from you down below in the comments. Love to see you subscribe and we will catch you on another video. Take care.